Rocky! I am here at my favorite booth every year at the National, the Baseball Card Exchange, and we're here with the man behind the Baseball Card Exchange, Steve Hart. How are you doing, Steve? Good, great. Show's been excellent. It, so, so what has been what has been a hot product for you guys? You have you have so much going on here. Like, what's been what's been flying off the shelves? Obviously, unopened material, <laughs> but specifically, it seems that eighty stuff has been the hottest. I like to you hear know, that. Eighty I, through eighty-five. Eighty through top eighty-five. Clear, Donruss, okay. all sports. Really? Yeah. Um, I, I grew up collecting in the eighties. In fact, okay. eighty-five tops uh, was was the set I started with. So I'm excited oh, yeah. to hear that. That th those have been. Hot Those have been for hot, you? Yeah, it seems that the 70s stuff has exploded so much, it's kind of pricey. Yeah. And it's moved the investor and the collector up into the 80s where it's more affordable. I, but that's coming with an explosion also. I, that's that's what I'm waiting to hear. Because yep. I, I think that 80s product is going to replicate what we're seeing with the 70s here soon. But mm -hmm. but you're more of an expert in the field. Is that is that accurate? It's going to take some time for okay. it to be anything like the 70s. Okay. But you know it's probably gone up 50% in the last six months. Wow, what would you attribute that to? Uh, like I said, the 70s is kind of out of range of people okay, okay. because of that explosion. And it's not really not available, you know, in any quantity. Right. 80s is still out there, still available, and still affordable. So speaking of not having a lot of it and, and not necessarily being affordable, this we particular <laughs> item is, is getting a lot of attention. And this is a brick of 1952 tops. I know, it, like we we aren't certain which series this is. Most likely, it's first series. Most likely, first series. What can you tell us about this incredible item? If I'm correct, about 20 years ago, there was a find in the Seattle area of about 80, 90 packs. Wow. And they were red. Most of them were wrapped in groups of eight. Okay. Uh, we're not exactly sure if Tops wrapped them or just the person who had them wrapped them. That was my question. So we don't know if they were distributed like this or if yeah. this was something aftermarket. Yep, but or just an aftermarket thing that the, the lady who had them did it because we've never seen Tops do it again. Has anyone from Tops come over and given any insight to it? Or? Nope. And I no. think even if they did, they wouldn't have the uh, knowledge of what exactly happened. That makes sense. So has anyone come over and given any decent offers or shown like serious we've interest? We've had people shown uh, serious interest. Okay. Nobody's talked numbers yet, but we've had some serious interest. What if Gary V comes over and he says, hey, I want to I want to break this brick. Uh -huh. Would you let him do that right here in front of everyone? Of course. That, I mean, that would be the ultimate in this year's national, right? Well, this is exciting stuff. I, I'm a huge fan of the Baseball Card Exchange, and I just love seeing the booth every year. So Thanks. thank you for taking a few minutes with us, Steve. It's a no pleasure problem. to meet you. Thank you. Hockey.